Hello Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Can It Run on the Steam Deck. My name is James, and today we're doing something a little different. Um, as you can tell, I have Windows running on the Steam Deck. Um, the way that I set this up was um, I followed this really great guide, which I'll link in the About section, um, that basically uh, gives you step-by-step -step instructions of how to install Windows on an SD card. The advantage of doing it this way is that um, you can basically pop in the SD card, load up Windows, do your Windows stuff, and when you're done with Windows, you can hop out the card and um, return back to SteamOS. Um, I guess the next question is, why would you want to install Windows on the Steam Deck? And uh, for me, it's kind of because you can. Um, this thing is a little computer, and so having the ability to uh, basically do what you want with it is uh, awesome, considering we come from a history of handhelds um, like the Game Boy and even the Switch, where things are, you kind of buy that device, and unless you kind of hack it, um, you're kind of limited to the, the software that can run on that device. Uh, with the Steam Deck being a computer, we obviously have um, the ability to install other OSs, and uh, Windows is an obvious one, uh, considering this is a small computer. Um, I had to set this up through um, a capture card, um, and uh, there is a slight bit of lag um, from my input on the Steam Deck to what you guys are seeing, so I'll try and compensate for that. Um, also, uh, we will have no sound, as I can't seem to get that to be recording to, but um, I don't think this video is going to be terribly long. Um, it's more of just kind of a proof of concept that... Uh, this indeed runs, um, and uh, yeah, honestly, if you follow the guide that I will link um, in the About section, um, it has step-by-step -step instructions of how to install it on an SD card. Really well written um, and really easy to follow along, um, so I think that'll be a good resource for you guys if uh, you're interested in uh, going this alternate route like I have. Um, so the main reason for me to install uh, Windows on my Steam Deck is having access to my uh, Game Pass library. Um, many of us uh, that own Xboxes and um, PCs will uh, have a subscription to um, Game Pass, and that is awesome because a lot of these games um, are great to play. We're getting a lot of games launching on Game Pass. Um, the value, um, personally, um, I have a few kids in my house, and we have an Xbox and a PC, and now the Steam Deck. Um, it's great just having this large library that I can share um, in my house, and um, there's just a, a full library of titles that we can download and play. Um, so, uh, yeah, from my experience, um, Game Pass works well. Um, I will say I did run into one bug, which I thought was kind of interesting. For some reason, my date and time weren't set correctly, and um, for whatever reason, that wouldn't allow me to launch um, a game from Game Pass. It, it was a really bizarre thing. Um, as soon as I fixed the date and time, it it worked. I don't know. Um, so that's a tip if uh, you run into that same issue. Um, the other issue we have is the trackpad can be used as a mouse, which is um, which is great. And the two triggers work fine as your left and right uh, mouse buttons, similar to the desktop mode in uh, Steam OS. Um, the issue is, if we launch a game, uh, there's no controller support. Um, which is silly if, uh, 
you know, you're playing on this handheld device with controls built in, and it's like I can't use the controls. Um, thankfully, there is um, a little app that we can download. Um, and again, I believe this is, um, I believe this is uh, linked in that guide too. Um, but basically what this does is it enables Steam input to be used. Um, how do I explain it? It allows Steam input to be used throughout of all of Windows, not while you're just in Steam. Um, so if I launch, uh, okay, I gotta look down here because there's a bit of lag. Um, if we launch Steam here, for example, let's go to my library here. Um, if there's a game that we launch, uh, through Steam, um, the, it recognizes the game pad input. Um, if we try to launch a game through anywhere else, like Epic or Games Pass, um, it doesn't recognize those controls. So um, the workaround is, um, and maybe there's a better way of doing this. Um, again, if you guys uh, know a better way of doing this, please let me know in the comments. Um, <clears throat> but you basically link this global Steam command program to an app that you can have running in the background. And as long as that app is running in the background, um, it'll launch a script where, um, now you see that little overlay in the bottom right um, that shows that the controller configuration has loaded. Uh, the downside now is I can't use the trackpad to navigate. Um, around Windows. So it's a little hacky. Um, thankfully, we do have a touch screen, so I can minimize uh, this junk. And um, we'll hop into a Game Pass game here just uh, to show you that it works. And uh, yeah, we now have full control um, using the built-in controls of the Steam Deck, which is ultimately what uh, you want. Um, there are things that we kind of miss out on having um, in Windows that we don't in SteamOS, and um, I immediately miss um, like any of the performance metrics um, that I can easily bring, bring up. Um, yeah, I'll just say, like, running Windows, it works, but it's, um, it's a little janky. Um, so if you don't mind kind of dealing with a bit of jank um, to play your Game Pass library or even um, some games that maybe are in Steam that are listed as unsupported, um, then... This might be a good alternative. Um, the trouble with reporting with stuff like this is that, um, like, development for this kind of stuff just changes um, all the time. Um, I'm even reading kind of new comments on uh, the Halo Infinite video that um, I uploaded um, saying that, you know, some of the stuff that I was saying. Um, is completely irrelevant, um, and I'm sure that um, Windows is being as popular as it is, and the Steam Deck kind of gaining traction. Um, it's going to uh, it's going to develop, um, and probably be a little less janky than uh, it is right now. Um, yeah, you can see here, um, I'm playing this game from my Game Pass library. It's called Tinykin. Um, I think I might do a video on this later. It's, um, it's a really fun game. It reminds me a mixture of, um, like, Honey, I Shrink the Kids, uh, Pikmin, and, uh, if you remember the game Overlord, um, 
That's that's a bit of a deep cut for some people, but um, that game had kind of this like minion system where you can control these little guys and um, direct them to do tasks. Um, so yeah, I mean, Game Pass stuff works. Um, as far as like other stuff, um, I mean, it's Windows. It'll it'll run um, your Windows stuff. I don't know what to really to say about that. Um, like it's it's a fully capable um, device. Uh, like if you want to use this as you know your little. Um, computer, if you don't have, um, a, uh, a desktop computer, you could easily use this, um, as, uh, as a little computer, um, dock this to a keyboard and mouse and a monitor and away you go. Um, I will say that I do notice, um, Loading off the SD card is a fair bit slow. Um, especially if you're trying to do a few things at once. Like, um, I don't know if it's just, just the way um, Windows is probably not designed to run off an SD card. Um, but it's not as snappy as... Um, it probably would be if I installed it to the uh, the local drive, but um, yeah, I I I think that's about all I can really say at this point. Um, for me, it's really just been um, a way to access some new Game Pass games that um, if I don't want to sit in front of my Xbox or my computer. Um, I have access to them now on my Steam Deck um, with Cloud Save. Uh, it makes things really nice because I can basically resume and drop off games in three places now, which is, is pretty cool. Um, just having that flexibility of that save kind of following you around. Um, yeah, I've been playing Tinykin. Um, I've also been playing uh, Midnight Fight Express, which is um, a lot of fun. And um, I also started Death Stranding, uh, which was also in Game Pass on the Steam Deck. And uh, that ran really well, too. Um, as far as I can tell, like, games seem to run okay under Windows. Like, there doesn't seem to be much of a... Like, a, Graphical performance lost. Um, I just do find that if you're um, if you're in Windows and you you know you open up Chrome or and then you try to do something else, um, it kind of struggles <coughs> uh, loading off the SD card that way. But uh, <coughs> if you're kind of going in, um doing, playing a game, you're going to be completely fine. Um, so yeah, I think that will probably cover it for this video. Um, this one's a little different to, uh, to what I usually put out. Um, usually I kind of talk about a single game, but, um, I just wanted to show, uh, Windows can run on the Steam Deck, um, and it can be done. Um, let's turn that down a little bit. Um, it can be done um, just using an SD card, uh, which makes things a lot uh, flexible um, here. All right, well, um, as always, I'm kind of rambling at the end of these videos, um, which... Um, I'm sure it just makes my viewer retention just drop dramatically. So I should probably um, be quiet here and wrap this video up um, as I get my lights kind of punched out here. Um, okay, let's, let's end this. All right, um, as you can tell, I do all of these videos in one take. Um, 
Okay. All right. So that's uh, that's Windows on the Steam Deck. Um, let me know if um, there's a game you want to see running on the Steam Deck under Windows. Um, I did notice in my comments uh, somebody wanted to see uh, PUBG running uh, on the Steam Deck. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have it downloaded in time for this video. Um, but uh, maybe that'll be a future video if you guys are interested. Okay, with uh, the rambling out of the way, um, thank you so much for watching. If there's any games you'd like to see covered, uh, please leave a message in the comments. I try to address each one, each one of them because I really appreciate the feedback. And uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for watching and have a good night.